I can reveal that I am standing in the doorway of the wonderful new Staffordshire History Centre here at Eastgate in Stafford. This is the Bagot Goat. He is the mascot for the History Centre. Um, he's named after John Bagot, who is from Blithfield and, and centuries ago was the first person ever known to have um, had a herd of what we call Bagot goats. Now this, this little friend of mine here was named at the Staffordshire County Show not long ago um, and we asked people what they thought we should call him um, and we're calling him Oatcake, obviously after the very famous dish that we have here in Staffordshire, the Staffordshire Oatcake. I have been designing the brand new formal learning program. This is going to be a whole host of activities for schools to get involved in and everything has been designed in co-production with local schools. Local children and local teachers have already made their mark on the Staffordshire History Centre. This is our brand new mascot. Uh, his name is Oatcake, he is a bagot goat and he is going to be a friendly little character to help kids and families explore the History Centre. He'll be uh, displayed on our screens inside, on our games and our interactives and we're really looking forward to being able to meet him. We're going to have events, we're going to have displays, we're going to have school visits, all helping the people of Staffordshire learn about our amazing history and the people and the stories. Staffordshire is a great big county um, and there is a massive amount of history to be found here and we're finding more and more that people are really fascinated about the roots um, where they come from here in this county and all about the history of this wonderful county of Staffordshire. Not long ago we unearthed the um, Staffordshire Horde which was a, a national news story and I think since then local people have wanted to know a lot more about what's available here in Staffordshire and where they come from and, and what Staffordshire is all about. This is a project that's cost £8.7 million. Pounds. It's been funded mostly by the National Lottery Heritage Fund, uh, Staffordshire County Council and Stafford Borough Council amongst others and we're hoping to open the doors by the end of this year.